go and see if they actually let me on, is it? <laughs> if you've been here before, then you're probably aware that I am a big fan of Scotland. Oh my God, I can't believe how good it is here. I've done a few road trips over the years and then last year I embarked on a big Whoa. challenge to cycle, paddleboard and hike the length of the country. Ah! And yes, I'm still talking about it. So when I was invited back by Wild Scotland, who were the Scottish Wildlife and Adventure Tourism Association, a bunch of legends who are committed to responsible and sustainable tourism in Scotland, to try out some all-season adventure activities with some of their member businesses, I literally jumped at the chance. So I'm taking you along with me to get some inspiration for your future trips in this beautiful, beautiful country. So strap yourselves in, lads. We're going to Scotland. Sorry, that was awful. him to get the camera there. <laughs> On the train, get down tonight. Gonna sleep tonight. Hey, I can't believe I made it here on time. I never make anything on time, but you kind of have to with trains. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> the neighbors are gonna hate me. <laughs> there are neighbors. There's other rooms. Oh, I'm boiling. <laughs> if you understood a word of that, congratulations. You understand excited Sarah speak. So after I'd settled into my room, I headed down to the club car where I had the fanciest haggis I've ever had in my life. Thank you. <laughs> you get a little eye mask and some little earplugs. This is amazing. Like I actually genuinely need this. Oh. <laughs> Boys, <laughs> I am sorted. I literally need to get ready for breakfast, but I can't stop looking at the view. <laughs> this is so cool. A while later, I obviously did have to leave the train. However, I arrived in Aviemore, so things were just getting better and better, you know? So 
so I've just arrived at Arby Moor. I've now got to find a random person in a random vehicle from In Your Element Scotland. Not so random after all. This is Mandy in a van. This is Loch and Yellen. Loch and Yellen. Yeah. That is not what I would have said. Loch and Eileen. Uh... That's what I would have said. Yeah, Come on, Eileen. However you want to pronounce it. Really, but, uh, So I've done quite a lot of paddleboarding and after doing 200 kilometres up the west coast of Scotland last year, this was such a nice way to just do some chilled paddleboarding. You know, the kind where you just don't feel like you're going to die every five seconds? That is not yeah. an exaggeration. If you've never paddleboarded before or you're fairly new to it, I feel like this would be such a good location to learn. Mandy was super experienced and she knew loads about the area. She told me a lot about the history of the loch and what's being done around the area to protect the ancient forests, beautiful landscapes and the wildlife. We had been hoping that the sun might pop out, but actually that backdrop of moody skies above the Cairngorms, you can't beat that. After a little post-paddle coffee at the lovely little cafe on the loch, we headed back to base camp where I met Mike, the owner of In Your Element. Mike also wasn't random and we got in another non-random van and headed over towards Loch Ness, stopping off for some early lunch, which I was really glad of because no offence, it's not Mike's driving, but my God, I felt sick. I'm just not a good passenger and I forgot about that. Idea, like. <laughs> so your your standard forward line is simply a reach forward and a straight back. Yeah. So you don't do any like sweeping to turn. I do. Okay. But you're. The I do. So you don't. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I probably just forgot everything you said, but hey. Don't get in Okay, so. Uh, other, side, please. other side. Yeah. Are we supposed to do this in time in any way? Uh, no. Okay. So this is the old bridge boy. This is the main bridge across the river back in the kind of 1850s. The main arch got washed away. Right. And then when they came to repair it, they thought at that even at that point they were planning on building a, a, a bridge further up. So they just temporarily um, finished it off and rebuilt it with wood just to uh, last a few years until the, the, they got the fancy new bridge built. Right. And still standing. Yeah, fair play. Years later, 150 years later. Would you cross it though? <laughs> no. No, no. No, no, no. We headed up the river just to the bridge to get a feel for things before doing an about turn to head straight into the wind tunnel that is Loch Ness. I assume you're steering. Because <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I should say that Mike did give me the choice and he did say we could have gone to a more sheltered area or more sheltered loch but I thought if I'm going to do my maiden voyage in a canoe in Scotland I want to do it up Loch Ness and when you see how we got back you'll understand even more why I wanted to do it. How's it going? Amazing! <laughs> Bit choppy? No, it's fine, walking the path mate! Oh my god! 
Oh, that's so fun. <laughs> Okay. So the um No, I'm just steering. I'm just stopping us crossing broaching sideways. <laughs> that is awesome. Whoa hey! That is so cool. You can feel it like coming in. I am sailing. I don't know the rest of the words. Across the law to the sea. <laughs> Stormy waters. That's the words <laughs> to be free. Yeah. <laughs> Your arm's getting pumped yet? A little bit, and it like taps, This is amazing. <laughs> I'm sailing back to Wales. See you in 40 days. <laughs> I promise I'm not being lazy, Tommy not to help. <laughs> Apparently it's easier on your own. Or I'm just I'm just more of a hindrance than <laughs> It's okay. I can read between the <laughs> I can read between the lines, it's fine. <laughs> this is Mike asking me why on earth I would do paddleboarding expeditions when I could sit down in, in a canoe, carry a lot more stuff, have three course meals every night. For the challenge! For the challenge! Your canoe is just taking an easy one. <laughs> Hello, Mike. I asked Mandy earlier one word to describe Scotland. Go. Amazing. <laughs> That's pretty similar to his. <laughs> she said awesome. And right, a sentence. If people are questioning visits in Scotland, why should they visit Scotland? Because it's the best small country in the world. Nice. Is that straight off visit Scotland? <laughs> the lady in the canal. Ooh. Um, and it, it, it's just it's fascinating the whole history. Of the canal. Can you give me a um, summary? A course. <laughs> Thomas Telford is the engineer responsible for it. Ah, that's our, one of the bridges that's yeah, not that far exactly. from me. Have you heard of the Jacobite rebellions? Yeah, briefly, yeah. So, what were they all about? Dunno. <laughs> you said, have I heard about them, not do I know what they're about? <laughs> it's a different question. <laughs> so, in 1695. Mike's summary was a little bit long for the video, but so awesome. And if you ever are in Fort Augustus, I would definitely recommend popping in this place because the history of the Caledonian Canal actually is really interesting. Or you could just tap up Mike and he'll give you a summary. Yeah. Hello, how are you doing? Hiya. Phew. <laughs> <laughs> There's us and quite a few other companies like us who will very happily pick you up from the train station and take you on some really wicked adventures all yeah. by public transport. Well, I can confirm it's a very uh, fancy way to travel. <laughs> <laughs> Look how nice this place is. I think these are the cleanest windows I've ever seen. <laughs> So it's half past 10 on a Saturday night and I'm back in the guest house. 
with a herbal tea because <laughs> I'm rock and roll <laughs> and tired. Today has been so so much fun, like so awesome. It was really cool to get here on the Caledonian Sleeper this morning. Like it's something I've always wanted to try. Um, and the fact that you can get up to Scotland and have like a full weekend of fun just in a weekend in Scotland and then get back again for work, it's just like that's so cool um and it's just so good to be back in scotland like i just i love it here so much like it always just makes me feel so just ah oh! <laughs> mike and mandy who i spent time with today was just so much fun like so scottish actually no mandy wasn't even scottish i don't know what i'm on about <laughs> but just really nice people really knowledgeable about the area and also just really good people if you want to try something new with them. So I've never done canoeing before. I don't think it was my forte. I don't think I was great at it. I just don't think Mike told me that, but it was really fun. <laughs> Especially the sail. Like I'm gonna get one of them for my paddleboard. <laughs> Such a good idea. So tomorrow I'm going up the Cairngorms. Hopefully gonna do some winter mountaineering. Um, I have all my winter kit with me. So I'm praying for like at least a tiny bit of snow because I've been all like hitting every wall with that ice axe on the back of my rucksack so far. <laughs> I need to hit some ice and snow with it. Otherwise, it's just a waste of walls that I've hit. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm gonna drink this, eat this, go sleep, see you at breakfast. Time to go mountaineering. Not like this. I don't know why people do French plats without these bushy bits at the side. I just always look like one of the founding fathers in America. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? They've gone the cafe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just sat in the cafe all day, we did. <laughs> so I'm up at the, what's it called? Cairngorm? Cairngorm Mountain. We're at the Cairngorm Mountain car park. I'm with Gary, who has assured me he's going to find some winter conditions, right? <laughs> Gary the winter wizard is going to find some snow. <laughs> yes. Definitely. A bit wet down here. Yeah. I love a bog, me. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose Wales have got a lot of that. Yeah. <laughs> so we were just heading into one of the Cairngorm curries, um, and it's a good place for mountain hares and oh. ptarmigan. So a ptarmigan is quite unique. What's uh, a ptarmigan? So it's a, it's a member of the grouse family. Okay. And it's a bird this big. Yeah. And it only lives above about 500 meters and mm. only in the Scottish mountains. Okay. Other countries in, the, in Europe. Yeah. Uh, in the Alps and in the Arctic. What does it eat? Uh, so bits of heather. Right, okay. That's all it has. Oh, well, bits of grass it's in got the a summer. buffet here then, hasn't it? In the winter, <laughs> there's only bits of heather, but in summer, spring, there's a few more bits of vegetation. Yeah, unfortunately, the ptarmigan is now on the red list of birds that are in Endangered. decline. So you're not seeing the, like, you've noticed the decline? Oh, definitely. Yeah. So um, when I first came to the Cairngorms especially, but, yeah. um, I could guarantee where we're going now to mm. see 20. Right. 20 birds, 20 ptarmigan. Yeah, yeah. And now, sporadic, you might see two or three. So is that climate related, obviously? Nobody or, knows yeah. for sure, but yeah. it's climate could be mm. um also lack of snow cover right which so, yeah, is climate yeah climate, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, so, so if we see one today i should get its autograph oh definitely <laughs> yeah beautiful <laughs> I feel like I'm doing Gary a massive injustice by not keeping everything he said in this vlog, but the video will be super long if I do. But he was so knowledgeable about wildlife and about the area and like really passionate about it. Gary does a lot of wildlife photography as well as mountaineering and taking people out. You should definitely check out his Instagram if you're interested in Scottish wildlife photography. I'll leave his handle in the description of this video. So all we need now is a predator for humans really, don't we? Oh yeah, get rid of that. We'll There's sorted. a problem. <laughs> yeah, we just rid. solved the climate crisis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the humans are always the problem. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. No, no, definitely. Bring uh, back the dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> Got a ptarmigan feather, so they're in the area. And the male is huge. It's like I a big Google turkey. it. <laughs> like a big, a big turkey. turkey. <laughs> That's what it is. It's like a big turkey. It's about the size of a turkey. How would they feel about being called a big turkey? Capicoli. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, big turkey. <laughs> <laughs> See what you mean? <laughs> and the female's about half the size. Right. She's like 
Um, They're well you know, cool, aren't they? Oh, yeah. The place where the males gather mm. to attract the females, it's called a lek, L-E-K. Right. Okay. So it translates as it's a, a Swedish name. <laughs> no, play. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's almost pub. Um, so basically, yeah, it's a clearing in the woods. Um. Uh, my best encounter was walking through One uh, of them. on a track and the other side of the track was a I presume it was an open area so it yeah. could have been his leg. Right. So this big male, he was just behind the tree. <laughs> and I thought, wow, brilliant. There's <laughs> a camera like, Hello. So I got my quick camera out <laughs> and, and next minute it starts attacking me or <laughs> running towards me. <laughs> it uh, liked you. <laughs> so yeah, so I had to back off. <laughs> and it got to a certain point back in the forest where he was quite happy that you know I was away from his lack presumably yeah yeah um he's like get out i got chicks yeah. you're, you're cramping my style <laughs> he wouldn't let me through the forest really he wouldn't let me through you the would path. not expect that from like a big big turkey uh, looking thing oh, would you? It's, it's <laughs> that's so, so uh, funny so eventually after so it's not lynx or snow leopards you gotta watch out for it's the cup Kaylee big turkeys <laughs> <laughs> they take your head off <laughs> That's a big one. Is that so? The hair's at that that's one. That's a hair. Has he at that once or twice? He, that looks like a once because. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying this because I was. I also learnt from Gary that hares and rabbits eat their food twice. They eat it once, they poop it out, and then they eat their poo. <laughs> what? Let me know in the comments if you knew that. So anyway, enough of the poo talk. We'd just reached the snow line at this point because Winter Wizard Gary had come up trumps and struck gold. I always feel like I'm putting ice skates on when I put these boots on. <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a very long while. So we got kitted up, which for me means changing my boots because, you know, I'm a Viva Barefoot girl at heart, but this is the only time I can't wear them because you can't put crampons on them. So I'd carried my winter boots in my pack. So the Avalanche report for six areas in Scotland. Yeah. I don't often get a chance to play in winter conditions and I did a skills course years ago. I literally can hardly remember any of it. So it was so good to practice and have a refresher of all the skills with Gary. If you want to play in Scottish mountains in winter, I definitely recommend doing a skills course with someone who knows what they're doing. Finally put in my Rab helmet compatible hood to its actual <laughs> full purpose instead of just my massive head. <laughs> I've been here hours, man. Where have you been? <laughs> Someone's made some nice footprints for me. Yeah, <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> feel like you just made a new one. <laughs> or you just went into someone's living room. <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> yeah. Is that in one? Yeah. Oh my god, this is awesome! Why don't we have our sleeping bags? <laughs> it's got cupboards and everything! <laughs> Look at that! This is amazing! And a little skylight! Oh my god, it's so cool! Fair play, <laughs> whoever made this. Like, they've made a full-on house. 
Is that another bedroom? With yeah. A, with a little shoot. <laughs> yeah. That's for the bad boys in there. <laughs> yeah. That's the attic. Yeah. Well, maybe that's the toilet. <laughs> maybe that is the toilet. You should wear your ass in that. <laughs> so that's what you do. So if say you were you were making one from scratch. Yeah. So you, you start digging here. Yeah. And I start digging there. Right. Or there, or yeah. And then when you get so far in. Yeah. You tunnel towards each other. Right. And just make it bigger. Oh, okay. See, I was thinking like, oh, I'm going to have to cover. I'm going to have to make one of these. Well, no, if I just come here, someone's already made it. <laughs> I call the snow hole city. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in a snow hole. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to sleep here. This is amazing. Someone has built me a house. I'm not leaving. I'm going to live here <laughs> forever. It's the coolest thing I have ever seen. It's a total whiteout outside and we're just going to stay here. <laughs> This is so good. Let's just rock up here with my sleeping bag. Haven't even got a. Don't even need to bring a shovel. <laughs> Someone's done it for me. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Total never bedroom in here. <laughs> All in the same thing. <laughs> Imagine if you made one with all slides and stuff in it like make all little shoots so you could literally slide down to the next level i'm trying to it would take so gary if you could describe scotland in one word what would it be awesome oh someone else said that <laughs> that's probably been used loads of times <laughs> wild wild oh i like that yeah oh, that's wild my, that's mine and what's your the snow yeah. <laughs> Snow all winter, winter all year round, please. Yeah. <laughs> See, now you're pushing the one word thing. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I actually said yesterday, I was like, no fair play, because I would have been like, can I have three words? <laughs> and what's your favourite area of Scotland? Torridon. Nice. Torridon's in the northwest. Yeah. And very different from the Cairngorms. Yeah. So the, the mountains are steep. Yeah. Next to the coast. Narrow ridges. Yeah. And just, yeah. Stunning. Whole lot of fun. A lot of fun indeed. <laughs> You're the sensible person. Oh, I can't slide. <laughs> <laughs> That's because you didn't go head first. <laughs> Whee!
it's just been incredible. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I'm so tired, but I've had the best time. Thank you very much for watching. Over and out.